Okay, now on to the promised kind of crazy part. Here I have three lists. These could easily be tuples instead. They probably should, uh, just because I'm not using them for anything. They're just lists of information. Pretend I'm a teacher, and well, I mean, I guess I am a teacher, but pretend I'm a teacher who has three students, and I don't know how it works around the world, but the schools that I went to, we often would have you know, a final test at the very end of a semester, and then a midterm that was halfway through. And sometimes um, the way that it would work in some of my college courses is that my entire score was just the average of those two tests. So there was no other assignments, nothing else. It came down to those two things and that was it. Or another scenario would be, uh, I had a couple of, of teachers who would only take one of your tests, whichever one was higher, the midterm or the final. And then usually it wouldn't just be that score. They would use something else like your homework or your quizzes, uh, but they would, they would throw out the lowest score essentially. So let's say I wanted to do some of those things. Let's start off, um, you know, we could just zip midterms and finals. I should mention that our data is aligned. So Dan got a 98 on the final and 80 on the midterm. Kate got a 53 and a 78. Okay, so let's say I wanted to find, I want to make a, a structure that looks like this. I want a dictionary and it's gonna say something like uh, Dan and his highest score should be 98. And then Ong, his highest score is what, 91? And then Kate, sorry Kate, her highest score is 78. So I want this to, you know, I want it to be done dynamically because I might have 100 students. How can I, you know, throw out their lowest score? This is what I want and I'll just call it, you know, final grades, something like that. So we can use zip and there's a couple of ways to go about it. We could use the list comprehension or actually dictionary comprehension, or we could use map. And I'll start by showing a dictionary comprehension. So we could begin by just finding the max of these two. So we're going to use max, and let's actually just start with a list, not a dictionary comprehension. And we're going to do a zip with midterms and then finals. And we'll do four pair in zip, midterms, finals, if I spell midterms correct. We could just start by just writing pair. And this would be the same as just doing list of zip midterms finals. Let's test it. Python, oh, we're not printing, are we? Let's do, save this to a variable called final grades and then print final grades like this. And we'll execute the file. So now we're just getting the pairs, the tuples of the two scores that go together. So now let's find the max. And that's not too hard because we just saw we have max from a couple videos back. We could add conditional logic to do it. It would be a lot longer, but we would do something like if pair zero greater than pair one and so on, but we'll use max. And this should now just give us the maximum score. And there we go. So we get 98 is the max. Here we have 91 is the max and then 78 is the max. So now, we move on because we don't want just a list of the max scores. I want a dictionary like this with the names. So we have a bunch of options actually. We could use a nested comprehension. What I'm gonna do instead, I'll copy this line, comment it out, and I'm gonna start by just adding in students as well. Now this is gonna be a problem when I try and do max on students, midterms and finals, because one of them is a string. So I'm going to change this around. We're no longer do max of pair. We're going to do max of pair one comma pair two. So that's going to be the max of the midterm and the finals. And I'm going to change this from a list comprehension to a dictionary comprehension. It's getting crazy. And what do I want the key to be? I want it to be, and pair is actually not even a good word for this anymore because it's not a pair but I'm gonna do pair zero colon. So rather than pair, eh, maybe I'll just call them all T because they're all a tuple like that. And this needs to be T as well. So hopefully you can see what we're doing. We're zipping them all together, three things. And so each tuple is gonna look like Dan and then what was the next one? Midterms, so then 80 comma 98. And then we're making a dictionary with each one of these where we're taking the tuple zero, so that's Dan, colon, the max of the other two elements, which would be 98. 
Okay, let's see if it works. And there we go. We're getting Dan, 98, Ong, 91, Kate, 78. So that's using zip with a dictionary comprehension. Now, I also want to show you how to do this with a lambda and using map. And there's a lot of ways of doing this, uh, but the way that I'll do it, I'll start by zipping the two scores together. So midterms, comma, finals, just like that. And then I'm going to use map. We need to tell it the collection to map and then how we want it to be mapped. And so the new list we want it to generate, the way I want it to be mapped is based off of max of these two things. So in this case, I'm just going to pick the, the largest using, and I have to do a lambda, and we'll call it pair, and we just want the max, if I can type, pair. Okay, and remember what map returns to us. So I'm going to save it to a variable for now. Just call it, uh, ugh, data is such a bad name. Let's go with scores, and then let's print list scores like that. Okay, and I need a comma here. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now what we have is a list of the, the highest score. It's already been picked out. So hopefully you can see how this is working. First, we're calling map, but what are we passing into map? We're passing in that collection of tuples that looks like this, where we have 98 comma, and what is it, 80 as one pair. And for each pair, we're only returning the max. So we're only returning 98. And that's going to be added to the iterable that's returned from map. And here I'm converting it to a list to print it out. We're not quite done yet, because now I want to add in the students. So how can I do that? Well, I could do it the same way that I was doing it here, where I also zip in students like this. And then instead of just max of pair, I do max pair zero, comma pair one. But I'm going to show another way, which would be to use zip again. And this is going to be quite crazy. So I'm going to call zip. I'm going to indent this. And I'm zipping two things together. I'm zipping students with this entire collection as well. So students is going to be our simple thing up here, right? And map, this map returns to us that collection where we just have scores like 90 whatever comma, I already forgot, 91 comma 78. I think the first one is 98. So it returns this and we're zipping it with this. Pretty complex looking, uh, but some would argue this is more, I mean, this is the more Pythonic way of doing it. Although to be honest, uh, or this is, I, I think this might just benefit from being its own function. Uh, and not trying to do it all in a single line. But this is definitely uh, a more traditional way of doing things in other programming languages. Okay, so finally, let's save this to a variable. Let's just call this grades. And if we just print grades, remember what we get. Oh, what's happening now? Scores is not defined. Where was I using scores? Oh, down here. Try that one more time. But if I print it, we just get the zip object. So I need to convert it to what I want, and I want a dictionary. Now I get Dan 98, Ong 91, Kate 78. Oh, so much work there. So if we wanted to be even more precise, or precise is the wrong word, but if we just wanted to add the dict part in there, we can indent everything else, and then I'll do it like this. Final scores or final grades and then we just print final grades okay so this was a, we bit off a lot here uh, but i just wanted to show something more complex because a lot of times with zip people just show here's zipping two lists of totally random silly numbers that you probably would never do but here's something i thought was a bit more realistic and we execute it now we get the same thing and we could easily tweak this or the above example as well uh, to instead give us an average. So I'll, I'll just show that in like one second, comment this example out. And instead of doing the max of the pair, what we'll do instead is do pair zero plus pair one. And then we need to divide by two. 
and we want parens there as well. And we'll change this to average grades. And now I can print average grades. So instead of finding the max, we are going to, with this lambda, take a pair, a tuple, and take the first thing, add it to the second thing, divide them by two, see if it works. And there we go. We're getting 89.0, 90.0, 65.5. Okay, so I'm not trying to argue that these are the best, cleanest possible solutions to do these things. I'm just trying to show how everything we've learned in this section can all fit together. We have a map with a zip, we have a lambda, uh, up here we're using max and a lambda and zip and map. All these things can go together, but at the same time, uh, I want to be clear that there's a lot of things in this, in this section, a lot of different names, functions, syntax that we've seen, and most of the time, if you need to figure out how to do something, it's just one Google away. It's not a matter of trying to remember every single thing from a section like this because there was a lot of material covered. Anyway, I will add some comments to this, make it a little easier to understand everything, and it will be available as a resource.